Eastern Han Chinese or later Han Chinese is the stage of the Chinese language revealed by poetry and glosses from the Eastern Han period first two centuries AD. It is considered an intermediate stage between Old Chinese and the Middle Chinese of the 7th century Qian Dictionary. Sources the rhyming practice of Han poets has been studied since the Qing period as an intermediate stage between the Xijing of the Western Zhou period and Tang poetry. The definitive reference was compiled by Luo Changpei and Zhou Zumo in 1958. This monumental work identifies the rhyme classes of the period, but leaves the phonetic value of each class open. In the Eastern Han period, Confucian scholars were bitterly divided between different versions of the classics, the officially recognized new texts, and the old texts, recently found versions written in a pre Qin script. To support their challenge to the orthodox position on the classics, old text scholars produced many philological studies. These include Xu Shen's Shuao and Jiezi, a study of the history and structure of Chinese characters, the Shiming, a dictionary of classical terms, and several others. Many of these works contain remarks of various types on the pronunciation of various words. Buddhism also expanded greatly in China during the Eastern Han period. Many Buddhist texts translated into Chinese at the time include transcriptions in Chinese characters of Sanskrit and Prakrit names and terms. These were first systematically mined for evidence of the evolution of Chinese phonology by Edwin Pulleyblank. The shimming glosses were collected and studied by Nicholas Bodman. Weldon South Koblen collected all the remaining glosses and transcriptions, and used them in an attempt to reconstruct an intermediate stage between Old Chinese and Middle Chinese, both represented by the reconstructions of Li Fang Kui. Axel Schusler included reconstructed pronunciations under the name later Han Chinese in his Dictionary of Old Chinese. Dialects Several texts contain evidence of dialectal variation in the Eastern Han period. The Fangyan, from the start of the period, discusses variations in regional vocabulary. By analyzing the text, Paul Serouise identified six dialect areas, a central area centered on the central plain east of Hengu Pass, surrounded by northern, eastern, southern and western areas, and a southeastern area to the south and east of the lower Yangtze. The most influential dialect was the Qin Jin dialect, from the western group, reflecting the ascendancy of the state of Qin. Second was the Chu dialect, from the southern group, which spread both to the south and to the east. These two dialects were also the principal sources of the Han Standard Language. The central dialects of the area of former states of Lu, Song and Wei were the most conservative. The dialects of the eastern area, which had been more recently and slowly sinified, include some non-Chinese vocabulary. Eastern Han texts contain little information on the southeastern dialects. They were known as Wu, Wu or Jiangdong, Jiangdong dialects in the Western Jin period, when the writer Guo Pu described them as quite distinct from other varieties. Jerry Norman called these Han era southeastern dialects Old Southern Chinese, and suggested that they were the source of common features found in the oldest layers of modern Yu, Hakka, and Min varieties. The Eastern Han glosses come from eleven sites in the remaining areas. They often show marked phonological differences. Many of them exhibit mergers that are not found in the 7th century Qiyan or in many modern varieties. The exception is the Buddhist transcriptions, suggesting that the later varieties descend from Han period varieties spoken in the region of Luoyang, in the western part of the central dialect area. Phonology the consonant clusters postulated for Old Chinese had generally disappeared by the Eastern Han period. One of the major changes between Old Chinese and Middle Chinese was palatalization of initial dental stops and, in some environments, velar stops, merging to form a new series of palatal initials. Several Eastern Han varieties show either or both of these palatalizations. However, proto-min, which branched off during the Han period, has palatalized velars but not dentals. 
The retroflex stops and sibilants of Middle Chinese are not distinguished from plain stops and sibilants in the Eastern Han data. Some Eastern Han dialects show evidence of the voiceless sonorant initials postulated for Old Chinese, but they had disappeared by the Eastern Han period in most areas. The Old Chinese voiceless lateral and nasal initials yielded a asterisk T initial in Eastern dialects and asterisk X in Western ones. Most modern reconstructions of Old Chinese distinguish labiovelar and labiolaryngeal initials from the velar and laryngeal series. However, the two series are not separated in Eastern Han glosses, suggesting that Eastern Han Chinese had a asterisk W medial like Middle Chinese. Moreover, this medial also occurs after other initials. In addition, Eastern Han Chinese had medials asterisk R and asterisk J. In some Eastern Han varieties, words with the Middle Chinese coda N appear to have vocalic codas. Baxter and Sigart argue that these words had a coda asterisk R in Old Chinese, which became asterisk J in Shandong and adjacent areas, and asterisk N elsewhere. Andre Georges Houdricourt suggested that the Middle Chinese departing tone derived from an Old Chinese final asterisk S, later weakening to asterisk H. Several Buddhist transcriptions indicate that asterisk s was still present in the Eastern Han period. Notes References Works cited